What is going on everybody? Welcome back here today to another NBA 2K18 prospect rebuild. It is going to be a Wendell Carter Jr. Bulls rebuild. Okay, and before the video starts, if you guys, like a lot of you have been requesting me to do a Grayson Allen Jazz rebuild, the fact that I'm thinking of it is just because I do want to do a Jazz rebuild and they'll give me a reason to do so because I haven't done a Jazz rebuild in a minute. So if this video gets, I'm going to say 3,500 likes, 3,500 likes, I'll do a Grayson Allen rebuild this weekend with a double upload. I'll, I'll do that. I'll do a Grayson Allen rebuild this weekend or maybe sometime next week. I don't know, but I'll do one probably this weekend. I'll, I'll think like Saturday, maybe Saturday before free agency starts. So yeah, if we can get 3,500 likes on this video, you'll see me do a Grayson Allen rebuild, which will be the second time I do a Grayson Allen rebuild in 2K18. Oh my God. So yeah, also I'm recording this before anybody's been traded. I don't know. It's one o'clock on Thursday, June 28th. You'll probably be seeing this at like 6 o'clock, and Kawhi has not been traded yet, and I'm just recording this as he as he's not going to be. If he doesn't get traded by the time it's 6 o'clock, you'll see this video. If he does get traded, you probably won't see this video today. You'll probably see this maybe tomorrow early in the morning because I would probably just like do a bunch of Kawhi videos if he does get traded. So yeah, right now I do have Wendell Carter Jr. Uh, with the 7th pick, and then we have Chandler Hutchinson, who they did get from Boise State with the pick that they traded Nikola Mirotic for. So I'm also really excited to do a Bulls rebuild. I haven't done a Bulls rebuild in a minute. So that is also kind of excites me today. So quickly though, we're going to be trading probably these two guys. Um, okay, we can get a second round pick. Hmm. Should I send him to Philly? Yeah, we're going to send him to Philly. So Philly doesn't sound like a Paul George type player. And Cristiano Felicio, I want to trade you too. I guess I like, get yeah, with the contracts like Cameron Payne's not even here. So we do have enough to go after maybe a Paul George. That'd be interesting. I haven't gotten, I haven't signed Paul George in a minute. Um, could I s trade him to the Thunder for a first round pick instead? Oh my God, we could. Or just honestly, let's just do two seconds. I want to make sure they have no cap because I would like to go after them. Um, we'll do two seconds for Felicio. I would have to, they'll do three. Okay. Yeah, we're going to do the trade. So we're requiring two second round picks out of this, which is very nice. And we'll see if we can maybe pick them up. So qualifying offers, uh, Cameron Payne, no. Grant, Nuaba, sure. Von Lane, no. Actually, it's only a million. Portis, yes. Uh, and Zach Levine, yes. Okay. So, like I said, if we can get Paul George, that'd be pretty, pretty crazy. Not going to lie. So, based off Paul George, where is he? He does already have an offer from the Thunder. Damn it, yo. Um, I don't know. We could try to get Jimmy Baller back here. That's something I could try to do. Clay Thompson doesn't have a deal yet. Hmm. LeBron, he's going to go to Denver. Okay. Because, like, we do need a small forward. Because, like, we do have our point guard and shooting guard if Levine stays. Now, I'm probably going to play marketing in at center. Uh, if I move him to center, does he go down? He does. We'll move him there. We'll see. We'll just move him there for now. So, like I said, I do want to go after a small forward. We could go after Tobias Harris and move him to small forward. But that's if we strike out on everybody else. So, like, Kawhi, KD. Like, I I'm going to offer Paul George a deal. I'd rather get Tobias over probably, let's give him, let's overpay for him a little bit. We're going to give him 30 mil, no trade clause, player option. I don't know if he's going to like that over the Thunder deal, which he does. Okay, I'm so open to bringing Paul George in. Now, let me just double check. Did Zach Levine get a deal yet? He probably hasn't, right? Um, No, he has not. Has Bobby Portis gotten a deal? No, he has not. So what we could do here is we could maybe go after a point guard as well. Like an Eric Bledsoe or a Kemba Walker. We could maybe sign Kemba Walker and Jimmy Butler. I'm at um, Paul George, but we'll see. So, wow, we do get both of them. So, I'm going to reannounce the rights on Vonley, Robin Lopez, Holiday Grant, Payne, um, Ryan, uh, former Nova Wildcat, right? Blakeney, yes. Um, okay, so we can get George and we can get Kemba Walker while still being able to bring back Zach Levine and Bobby Portis. So, that's kind of big there. So, let me just make sure he hasn't gotten a deal yet. There we go. He hasn't. Has Bobby Portis gotten a deal? No, he hasn't. So, we're good there. Let's sign both of them. Um, Zach Levine has not gotten a deal yet. And Bobby Portis hasn't either. So, we're good there. And that is free agency. Now, if they get a deal, I'll obviously match it. We actually... Wait. We could maybe sign somebody else. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Who's like the best player available that doesn't have a deal? I don't think we can get Marcus Saul, Dwight Howard... Do I really want Dwight Howard? We could get Bledsoe. Like, I would really like Middleton. We could get maybe Tyreek Evans, but we would have to offer him $2 million less than what he wants, which I don't think he's going to want to do. No, wait. We're not even going to be able to do that because we would have to renounce the rights on Portis and Levine. So we could maybe sign somebody for like 15 mil, like JJ Redick, Derek Favors, maybe, Rudy Gay. Um, All these guys are like restricted. Maybe Jeremy Lamb. 
I'll give I could possibly do 11 million to Jeremy Lamb or we could do 1050 let's try it let's see if this works 1050 to Jeremy Lamb um, he's probably not even gonna accept our deal and it doesn't look like it Jesus dude are you gonna accept our deal or what okay if I read out sites on Dave Nuwaba can I get him no okay never mind so I, I do want to bring back Levine and Portis so we're not gonna get lamb and I'll see you guys at trading camps I'm honestly just gonna pay Levine now and Portis is about to get 20 million dollars from another team oh my god dude that's a lot to be a bench player um I might trade Portis because that's a lot to come off the bench but hmm, I, let me just see what I can get in trade finder for him because 20 million can't we have a team actually threw that much at you Terry Rozier is nice but 16 mil we already have two point guards I would actually not mind a backup wing player because I do probably plan on sending Chandler Hutchinson to the G League. I mean, Trey Wiles is also nice, but he's making 18 mil. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to send Chandler Hutchinson to the G League. So let me find a shooting guard, probably, preferably a shooting guard because of, right? Because we have Denzel Valentine already. Like Tyreek Evans, I tried getting after and him for Portis. We would acquire two mil. You can also take Paul Zipser. And you can take our first round pick unprotected next year because I think we'll be pretty good. There we go. So we just picked up Tyreek Evans. Probably could have gotten somebody better, but Tyreek Evans will be a good sixth man or seventh man. I'll see you guys at training camps. All right, so training camps, obviously on top of potential, I'm probably going to do it to our front court in Larry Markinen and Mr. Wendell Carter Jr. And then we'll send, hmm, we'll send Zach Levine there. So I also kind of forgot about David Nuwaba, who I'm probably butchering his name, so I'm just going to call him David. If I move him to small forward, I'm pretty sure it goes up pretty good. And overall so um we'll check that out he might actually pass valentine yeah he's probably gonna play over valentine so we have one two three four five six seven eight we have eight players damn it i would probably want to get a backup center so i'm gonna actually try to trade denzel valentine for a backup center but yeah i think one carter jr if he could turn into that defensive presence at power forward i mean i don't i think he's not i think he's a little bit undersized to play as a center but definitely not in a small ball lineup which can definitely go up against most teams Ooh, yaka pertle give me that but like i don't know if mark and i really didn't watch much of his defense this year like i know what he could do in the offensive end but his defensive side of things i don't know how well he could be on that to play him at center kind of like i'm imagining like what the knicks do with kind of christoph porzingis and i wanted them to move um christoph's the center and then you get like save the next guy one quarter junior had been pretty good at front court but I don't know. I really don't know what the, the Bulls are going to work out. I think they're going to go marketing at center, right? If I'm wrong and you're probably a dire Bulls fan, you'll know more about what they're going to do. They can go Carter at center. It would just make sense to probably, eh. I mean, like, Dirk's always played center over, like, Tyson Chandler when they had him. So, yeah, maybe Carter Jr. will play center. But let me just make sure the starting lineup is good. So let's go 33 to Levine, 34 to Walker, 36 to George. I don't want to go 32 to our front court, but it might be what we have to do. So let's go 25 here, 21 there. Um, we'll go 33 each there. And we'll actually go 32, 34. All right, so yeah, that is going to be for me now. I'm going to send Chandler Hutchinson to the G League. And yeah, I think we should definitely make the playoffs this year. I hope we do because I did trade away my first round pick. I think we'll be fine, especially in the Eastern Conference. It's a pretty good team. And I'll see you guys at the end of season number one. So Russell Westbrook wins MVP and um Luka Doncic wins work here. Now, I do want to talk about the MVP a little bit. I don't think I really had a chance to talk about it. Now... Uh, James Harden won MVP. A lot of people think LeBron James should have won MVP. Now, if you want to look out of it that if you take Harden off the Rockets, they wouldn't be that bad of a team. They would still probably make the playoffs. But if you take LeBron, uh, LeBron off the Cavs, they would be the worst team in the league. Yes, that's 100% true. If you want to base MVP off that, then yeah, LeBron deserves it. But that's not how they award MVP. Do I think that's the right way? Not really. I think I agree with the way that I think if you take the player off the team and they're not as good, I think that's the most valuable player. That's the most valuable player to the team. Now, you have to look at this. MVP, like 90% of the time, comes to an elite team. So, like a top two team in the conference of what they are in or a top two team record-wise in the NBA. An exception was this man last year, which basically won MVP because he had a uh, impressive stat line for one stat of a triple double and KD left them and all the hype was around him and everybody hated KD and loved Westbrook for last year so that's why he won in my eyes but but that's besides the point Westbrook was an exception but I still don't mind him getting MVP he had an insane year and they weren't going to make the playoffs see if you want to look at it if you take them off the team they wouldn't be as good that's a great representation of Westbrook last year if you took him off the Thunder last year they were not going to be nearly as good of a team so but I think 
like it goes to an elite team and now it usually goes to the best player on the best team or usually that and james harden was the best player on the best record team this year and if you take harden off that team they're not the best team in the league and that's probably the reason why he wins it and i think it and just bringing them like there like where they were game seven in the western conference finals with that team I, I still i think he's deserving of the mvp and that's because that's the reason it's looked at in the nba it's not looked at if you take them off the team how bad they're going to be that's not the way they award it if it was that way yes lebron would win it most of the time but yeah i mean lebron's on the nuggets now anyway so i, I would like for lebron to join the nuggets lebron join the nuggets or utah and i'll root for you to be good because if you join like the lakers i mean i don't really want you to do good uh, I mean, your Cavs fans are, or the LeBron fans, imagine that LeBron and Laker fans are going to have to coexist if he joins the Lakers. That would be nuts, but I think Paul George opted out of his contract this morning, which, um, or was it, was it this morning or yesterday? I'm not sure, but that makes sense anyway, if he's going to go back to, if he's going to go back to OKC, he had to opt out anyway to get a max deal from them or to get the most money, so it's not like he's a guaranteed leaving, like people probably going to overreact and think. But he still could be on the way out. He could probably join LA. Utah or Denver, please just call him up. Utah, call him up. I want to see Donovan Mitchell and Paul George. I tweeted that out like three months ago, and I said I would dream if that happened. But it never will. Uh, I doubt he joins Utah. So, Leno Carter Jr., 11.5 points, 8 rebounds, 1.5 block, and 3 assists the game. Not bad. Not bad at all. I will take that. So, we were the fifth seed in the Western Conference. We're taking on the Boston Celtics in round one, who I think Robert Williams was an absolute steal. And I think they are... Boston and Lakers are the two teams that are going to go for Kawhi. I think I saw, um, what's his name, Woj tweet out. I mean, I think Boston just, uh, we, our defense was not that good this year. But yeah, I think Boston is just hesitant to get a one-year rental if and give up a lot for that if he does leave next year. But here are the stats if you want to see them. Levine, we could try to package maybe Levine just to upgrade the position completely. I finally did get Zach Levine in a recent, I think I got him in the Cavs rebuild for the first part of it. And then I did trade him away. I gave Chris Dunn like an $18 million extension. <laughs> I don't know why. I mean, his defense off the bench is pretty nice. But I might just end up trading him for like Patrick Beverly. We do win game one by eight points here. Okay, Carter Jr., I see you. Marking in 15-9. About what you did in the regular season. Game two, we lost by six. Okay. Looks like we have a pretty good competitive series here. Two big market teams, Chicago versus Boston. And we're up two to one. Levine with a 24-point for point performance. And marketing with a triple-double. Let's go. Game four. We are up three to one. We win by ten, and can we end it here? Nope, three to two, and we do win in six. Let's go, and we are taking on Milwaukee in the next round. Paul George had a thirty-two point performance and nine steals, and we won by one point. Oh my God, look at that signing, paying off well. Game one here against Milwaukee, we do win by eight. All right, we have actually a good chance to go to the finals. I think. Um, I don't think it's gonna happen now that I just said that, and we're probably not gonna beat Milwaukee. We're up two to one though. We win this one by fifteen. Oh, Giannis is so good. I kind of want to do a Milwaukee rebuild. I hope they do something in the offseason because I really don't know if I want to do a DiVincenzo rebuild uh, because I don't want to do so many of these prospect rebuilds because like once free agency is done, like I've said, and all the moves are pretty much done, I'm going to be doing 2019 realistic and fantasy style rebuilds basically in the month of August and probably end of July. I just got to tally it up if I did like one and like sometimes double uploads with them, but we're down three to two. Ugh. Wayne Ellington drops 30 points on us. Damn it. We're, they're going to beat us here at home. I have a good feeling they are. Uh, no, we are forcing a game seven. What a fourth quarter. Oh, my God. What a second half in general. Okay. Could we win this? It's going to be in Milwaukee. Aaron Rodgers is in the stands. Frank Kaminsky's there. Sam Decker's there. And we do win by two points. And we're going to the Eastern Conference Finals to take on the Pistons. What? I haven't done a Pistons rebuild in a minute, too. That's another team I would like to do. But, uh... Yeah, it's the Pistons. Nothing insane on that team. Um, we could have taken on Kawhi and the Cavs. LeBron went to Denver, so that's a thing. And OKC was the one seed without Paul George or Melo. It was just Westbrook. Well, yeah, you could see the numbers he's, he averaged, which were insane. And Steven Adams. I wonder who's the... Wait, they have Ron Baker, the GOAT. Who's their second leading scorer on that team? Who is it? Is it Adams? Oh my god. Westbrook is literally carrying that team. Alright, so I'm pretty sure we're going to beat Detroit, but of course they say that and they beat us in game one. Marcus Morris, or yeah, drops 25. He's back in Detroit. And they're up 2-0. Okay, I guess Detroit is just... Okay, they're going to sweep us. Are you serious? What? What? Okay. Alright, just sweep us. Alright, 3-1. to one. Could they blow a 3-0 lead? 3-2, let's go. Win this one by 18. Come on, let's force a game six. Let's force a game six, please. Uh, game seven, excuse me. Come on. And it looks like we are. 
Wow, is Detroit going to blow a 3-0 lead? Are they going to blow a 3-0 lead? And OKC's in the finals, come on. Wait, oh my god, they were the 2 seed though, but are they going to beat us here? No, they beat us by 6 in Game 7, and it's a goddamn Detroit OKC finals. And Detroit is going to win in 5. Who would have thought Detroit would have won would win it all in year one? What? Alright, guys, so let's go to the lottery. Now I was smart to trade our first round pick. I mean it was for Tyreek Evans, but I don't normally use Tyreek Evans. So that pick ended up being pick 20, which is actually not that bad for conference final team. I did get Dirk just to mentor uh Markinen as our coach. I didn't really feel like bringing back Fred Hoiberg. Michael Hunt, oh my god, you have good potential, but your offensive defensive ratings are trash. We could get Dwayne Casey, but we're not gonna do that. Ah, uh, Lucas Green, David Fizdale's a head coach. There's not really many good assistant coaches here on the market. Ew, there's not many at all. All right, we're going to get Conrad Oakley. I wish that was Charles Oakley. That'd be pretty cool. But yeah, we signed him. Now let's go to the NBA draft, 2019 draft. I might trade Chris Dunn, honestly, to get a top pick in this draft because I bet you I could. So say we move Chris Dunn. Like, where are the Suns picking? And do they still have... Oh, they're picking at 14. They were good this year? Okay. Okay. Who's got like a top five pick? Lakers, do you have cap? They do. Okay, what about if we did Chris Dunn? Did we acquire any other first round picks? We haven't, but we have a lot of second round picks. Could this give me pick five? Five second round picks in Chris Dunn. It did, so we have pick five in the draft. Let's go. And I don't know if I want to trade Zach Levine. Like, I don't want to trade the fifth pick. And uh, Chandler Hutchins is only 74. I mean, I could still, I still want to play him just because he was a rookie here. Uh, there isn't like a huge upgraded shooting guard. I mean, Middleton is kind of cool. Maybe when the small photo will go up higher. But I'm going to make my pick at 5, and then I'll figure out if I want to trade Levine or not. All right, guys. So, at pick 5, I did get Nazir Little, who will be a nice bench piece next year. We're going to accept that. So, as of now, let's look at how many players we have that are going to play. So, right now, we have Kemba. 2, 3, 4, 5, possibly 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. So, I don't know if Nawab is going to play because I do want to play Little. And I do want to give Hutchinson a shot because he was a rookie this year. So, um, oh yeah, Pretzel's a free agent too, uh, that's annoying, but, um, I also heard that Aaron Gordon might go to the Pacers, that would be kind of cool, but I think they're gonna match the deal, I think, um, Orlando's definitely gonna match it, so, is Beverly a free agent, and do we have, oh, we only have a 5.75 million dollar extension, or, yeah, whatever, uh, mid-level exception, we could get Rondo, bring him back to Chicago, uh, Jeff Teague is here, Berea, give me some Shabazz Napier, we'll see if we end up just wanting to play him, I don't know who's gonna play, so give me Napier, we're going to renounce the rights on, yeah, and I'm facing the fact that I'm not going to bring back David. I'm just going to say David. So, I'm going to get Perto back. Honestly, how much is he asking for on a restricted deal? 13 mil? You're out of your mind, but I'm going to give it to you anyway. Does that make you feel better? In a virtual video game, Jakob, you're going to be making 10 mil for being a 76 overall 10th man in the rotation player. Unbelievable. I'll see you guys at rookie signings. I don't know why I said see your rookie signings. I obviously meant see you at training camps, but... I don't know if I want to move Zach Levine. Like, I would only do it if I could pick up, like, Bradley Beal. Like, that's somebody I haven't gotten in a minute that I kind of want to get. But he's, like, actually pretty hard to trade for in this game. Like, I'm sure... Yeah, we're not even going to get... So, like, I'll try it. Say we did... Like, who has more trade value? Evans or Levine? To the Wizards, let's see. Evans actually has more trade value? Okay, say we did Evans, and we're going all in this year. Three first-round picks. Four first-round picks, and a second. Instead of the second, we'll give you Shabazz Napier. Oh my god, okay, that picked him up. What the... All right, well, I just gave up everything for that, so we better do well this year. I mean, we were one game away from going to the NBA Finals, but wow, I just gave up the whole future. So, Markkinen, Carter Jr., um, and honestly, Zach Levine will be the sixth man. So, actually, let's send Nazir Little. I want him rep UNC to be pretty good this year. So, I think, actually, trading Napier, we have nine good players that will play. Uh, we do have Perto, right? I, okay, yeah. So... This is the team. Good. Um, now, yeah, I want to give Hutchinson the ninth spot. And, yeah, we're good. All right. Well, let's roll with this. So, 10 minutes here. We're going to go 17, 19, 26, 33, um, 34, 32, 32. Um, we'll go 35 here, 36 here. All right. This is going to be the squad. I hope it's good enough to win a title. I think it should be. But if it doesn't, if it's not, then I kind of just, okay. Well, they're going to sleep on us again in the rankings, but we were pretty good last year. I hope we win it all because I just gave up, like, the whole future for Bradley Beal. So, yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Hopefully, we can be the one or the two seed this year. All right, so it's April time. We are heading back here to the playoffs. We have clinched a playoff spot. We could honestly get the two seed, but I bet you, yep. When I say that, we just start losing games. 
Uh, um, we might, I don't think we can get it. Yeah, we end up as the three seed. Okay, I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I'll definitely take it. Williamson, rookie of the year. Vucevic, six man of the year. Kawhi, defense player of the year. Nwaba Musa, what? Okay, he only averaged two points a game last year, really? Sydney Lowe, coach of the year. It's not Liam Jackson. So, I'm pretty sure Bradley Bill kind of disappointed this year, but I mean, I, I really just got him for the overall value. Uh, and then really what he's going to fit to this team. Smith, really? Oh my God. He was the fourth overall pick. Well, okay. Well, yeah, it's kind of sucks. 2K won't update that roster. Musa, okay, doing pretty well. He's on Atlanta. Nazir Little, all rookie first team. Not bad. Uh, also, I think Chandler Hutchinson got all rookie second team. We'll check out all the stats now, actually. So, standings, we are taking on the Sixers in round one. That's a tough round one matchup. Mello, Simmons, Embiid, Sarge, Fultz, Bazemore, Blazemore, Bamba, Olenek, Muhammad. Good team. And Frey Simmons, I saw. Or Anferne, I don't know. Uh, here are the stats, if you want to see them this year. Um, pretty much what I expected. Hutchinson just replaced the Wild, but 3.6 points a game. Um, and if we look at uh, team stats, we were number one in points. We were 17th in a lot of points. So our defense still wasn't that good. We were fourth in differential. I still think we can win it all this year. So hopefully we can. Game one against Philly, we do pick up a 15 point dub. Do we beat them last year? No, I think we beat Boston last year. Not bad. Uh, who dropped 32 this game? Was it Georgia Kemba? Kemba, good stuff. Game two. Tied up. They blow us out in this game. Uh, and Beats probably just going to bully Markin. And damn it, we're down 2-1. to one. We're not going to beat them. We're actually getting a first round exit, aren't we? We're actually going to get a first round exit, aren't we? 3-2, uh, to two, please. Force a game 7 here. It's in Philly. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, we are forcing a game 7. Uh, winner takes on Cleveland. Come on, at home. We got... Um, also yesterday I mentioned Chief Keefe, I thought he was in New York or Atlanta, but then I did comment, but people still decided to prove me wrong, even though I already said in the comments, I knew he was from Chicago, like when I was editing the video, I'm like, he's from Chicago, isn't he? So, we got Chief Keefe versus Meek Mill right now, um, Lil Dicky versus Kanye West, and Chance the Rapper versus, I don't know, another Philly rapper off the top of my head, is it, um, is it like Lil Skies from like... Yeah, I don't know. He's from Pittsburgh right now. I don't I don't know where another Philly rapper off the top of my head, even though I feel like I should. Who's another Philly rapper? Uzi. Uzi. We got Chance versus Uzi right now. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yes, we're going on, on to the next one. Let's go, baby. We win by 31. Also, Drake's dropping an album tonight, uh, which I'm pretty hyped for. I mean, it's 25 tracks. The last time he gave us that long of an album was more life and it disappointed. I personally don't think Drake has dropped a really good album since nothing was the same. And I think if you're reading this, just too late was pretty good. Views was eh. I had mixed feelings about views. I think more life was just a big disappointment. So I'm hoping for the best for Drake tonight. Um, and we do win game one here. They don't have LeBron. It's just Kawhi there. If they had LeBron and Kawhi, whew, I don't know what I would do. Game two, we pick up the dub. Let's go. Game three. Oh, my God. We're going to sweep them. 3-1. Don't make this go any more than it has to be. Yes. Okay. We win in six. Utah, I need you to beat Golden State. We'll try to do our stuff here with Milwaukee, who we beat last year. But they beat us by three in game one. Come on. Who have they added that's, like, good? Whiteside, Jeremy Lin, Middleton, Jabari. They don't have Brogdon anymore. They have Jalen Hands and Mo Wagner in the works. That's pretty good. Come on. Game two here in Milwaukee. We got to win at least one in Milwaukee, which we're not going to do. Uh, we're down 2-0. We have to win both in Chicago. We, we have to win both in Chicago, but I bet you we're not going to. We're going to go down 3-0. God damn it. God damn it. What do I have to do to get over the edge? Do I have to trade marketing for a rim-protecting center? Is that what I have to do? I don't want to do that, but I might have to do it. All right, we win one game at least, so it's 3-1. to one. Or do I trade? I can't trade Wendell Carter Jr. He's the title and thumbnail, or the title and thumbnail. Yeah, he's pretty much, this is his video. Come on. Come on. Force a game. Come on. All right, I'm hopping in. I'm trying to force, whoa, this would be a game six. Oh my God, I forgot we're Chicago. I hate, this is why I don't do Chicago Bulls rebuilds because this happens with the jerseys. Oh my God. All right, I don't know who's in a power forward. Looks like it's Paul George. So Paul George, pick and roll Kemba. Kemba, easy layup. There we go. Why did you have to make that so acrobatic? Why couldn't you just take a normal layup? If you would have got blocked there, I would have honestly cried. Wait, is Carter Jr. in? No, Nazir Whittle is in at center. Wonderful. On white side, great. And okay, at least Giannis isn't in. So that's good. This. These jerseys are pissing me off so much. No way. That was a foul? Really? Damn it. That, that's annoying. Uh, please miss one. Damn it. All right. Well, that was an easy block or just contested shot. We would have got a miss, but of course it had to foul. So a minute 31, 90 seconds left. We are 
down by one. So let's see what we can do here. Um, Bradley Bill, you want to hit a three for me right now? You want to hit a three? I don't know how open you're going to get here. Well, you don't know how to run this play properly, it seems. Oh my god, this is disgusting. All right, well, marketing, give me a screen. Can we do pick and pop? Okay. Okay. No, no, no. Pass that out. Pass that out. Wonderful. 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 Um, oh my god, where is the help? Oh my god. All right, down by three. Down by three. Um, let's go. Push it, push it. Get it to Paul George. Paul George, just go to the rack. Go to the rack. Thank you. And one. And one. Oh, that would have been such a nice and one. But good stuff. Two po or one point game now. 60 seconds left. Uh, Giannis on Carter Jr. This is not what we want. Who signed up for this? Okay, we need to, uh, I gotta put, uh, George on him. Alright, Giannis hits both his free throws, so it is a three-point game. I could take a three, but I'm still feeling an N1 for Paul George. Um, also, the CPU decide Paul George is always guarding Jabari Parker, not Giannis, which pissed me off a little bit. N1, N1? Mmm, sometimes you get that N1 animation. Oh, I thought it was there. Come on, you gotta make both your free throws, Paul George. First one is wet. We just need one stop on defense, but it's hard to stop Giannis Antetokounmpo. So it is a one-point game now, 46 seconds left. If we can get a miss and then go for a two-for-one, that would be clutch. But let's see what happens here. Just, I'm scared of Giannis. I don't really care for Middleton beating us. Okay, I got you. Give me that. Cookies. I don't know why I just did that. That was risky. Mark it in. Spin move. You, that was the most unathletic play I've seen in 2K18. Congrats. And... There goes our hopes of, oh my god. You gotta be kidding me, yo. You gotta be kidding me. Why did I, I don't know, that was so stupid. All right, Bradley Beal, I need you to hit a three. And can you please run this play properly? Okay, there you go. Finally, you run it properly. All right, you're not open. George, you're not open either. Oh my god, really? All right, let's just drive N1, N1, N1. Damn it, oh, I need an N1. We're not winning this. And, oh yeah, disappointing playoff run. All right, guys, I actually just hit a three, so we do have a chance to tie this game with four seconds left. Bradley Bill hit a contested three. Now, if Giannis misses one, that would be kind of clutch, but he hits both. We do have a timeout. I'm probably going to go to Paul George, to be honest with you, just for the fact that Bradley Bill already hit one, and I never trust 2K on hitting back-to-back -back threes with a person, so we are going to try to do it with, um, what's his name, with um, Paul George, so we'll see what happens. I don't know. They're probably going to run a design play here. But let's go. Um, all right. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh my god, we actually might have an open look. That's actually an open look. Why did I say contestant? Let's go. Tied. Yes, let's go. It was not over. It is not over. Oh my god, let's freaking go. All right. With my luck now, they're gonna hit a, a, a shot to to end this and probably win it. And then I'm gonna rage if they if they hit a game winning shot here. I'm gonna rage. I don't think a pass back. No, 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 no. Jeremy win. If you hit that, I swear to God. Wow, we're going to OT. Also, to anybody that's wondering, I am on Hall of Fame. I... Right? Yeah, I'm on Hall of Fame. That would have been embarrassing if I wasn't. So, I'm going to simcast this. I really don't want this video to be that long. So, I don't know. We'll see how simcast goes. It's not going too well for us. We keep... feel. I feel like we're playing catch-up. And we're down by six with a minute left. Down by three. I guess we can hop in. Do we have the ball? We do. Okay. This video is going to be so long. And this is just for game five. This is... Oh, my God. This is like a meaningless game. Oh, God, okay. I'll probably see you guys with, like, 30 seconds left. If Paul George doesn't hit this three, it's over. It's over if he doesn't hit this. And really, you get that good of a look and you miss it. Damn it. So, I will see you guys. Honestly, I might trade Laurie Markin, and I don't want to do it, but I feel like we should just get a better rim protector. Let me see his ratings, because his ratings are probably just better than I think. A minus, it's, that's offense. C inside D, yeah, his defense is not good. I might be trading Markin in. And also, I think Bradley Bill's a free agent, which kind of sucks. Okay, I don't even care for anything else. Like, I don't care for rookies right now. So, even if we have a first-round pick, which we actually don't because we probably gave it for Bradley Beal. I threw the freaking farm at him. And, yes, yeah, so we have no rookies. Team player options. Hutchinson, yes, you need to come back. Carter Jr., yes, obviously. So, qualifying offers, nobody important. So, I think the only free agent we have is going to be Bradley Beal. I believe, and we are going to have to outbid another couple other teams. We do, it looks like we do have the cap to sign him now. So let's give him that. And we sign him. Let's go. Okay. So we get Bradley Beal back. Now I'm probably going to trade Laurie Markinen just to try it out because clearly this team didn't work out. And I don't want to trade Bradley Beal or Carter Jr. because he's the video. I would trade Carter Jr. if this wasn't his video, but it is. So look, what center could I get for him? Steven Adams. I'm not getting different book. Everyone calm down. Aldridge and Brogdon. Capella. I might go Capella here. Uh, Al Horford, eh, his overall is alright. DeAndre Jordan's an 87. And we'd be getting Jared Jackson Jr. I might do this trade. 
Um, DeAndre Jordan averaged 12 and 12. All right, I don't get him a lot. So final year, we're going to be doing this trade. I don't know what I think of it. I'll see you guys at the end of next year's season. It's just pretty much um, Jackson Jr. Jr. will be replacing Pertel and Jordan will be replacing Markin. And I'm sorry to all Bulls fans. It had to be done. All right, guys. So Russell Westbrook wins MVP. Look, 65 and 17. I told you we needed a rim protector. Dirk Nowitzki, coach of the year. Yep, it's insane. I also, usually when I start talking, I have tweet deck or yeah, tweet deck on my left. So I just see like my screen just keeps refreshing and it just pisses me off when I'm recording. So that's why I look over to my computer screen here. So if we look at the squad, um, Luka Doncic on base second team. So is Lonzo and Kawhi. Did it just say extremely loyal? <laughs> Look at his loyalty, extremely loyal. Um, what is uh, KD's loyalty? Is it extremely loyal? It is. Are they all extremely loyal? Oh, they're basically all. Damn it. Market is just loyal. How did he do? Wow, he showed out in LA this year. Good for him. Good for him. But hey, we did our best ever this year. We are a one seed, first time ever. And I think it's because we got just a better rim protector. I honestly think that's the reason. Taking on this Hawks team in round one. Here are the stats. George, 19. Walker, 19. Bradley Beal, 17.8. Little Levine um, off the bench. There's Jordan Carter Jr. Hutchinson. If anybody was wondering, here is the rotation I ended up putting together. Yep. He's, um, that's what we did. And if we check out team stats, let's see if our defensive ratings were better. So first in points per game. And we were ninth in a lot of points per game. So that's the best we've been in this video. And first in point differential. So, so this, of course, we lost game one. This is the last season. So can we not get bounced in round one? Okay, it's 1-1. One, one. We win this one by 30. Jesus. Okay. I should be able to simulate the current round, but we're down 2-1. to one. If we go down 3-1, I'm actually going to bug out. We're up 3-2. to two. Let's just win in 6. Thank you. I don't know why it had to go that far. I bet you we sweep Philly now. Okay, never mind. We lost by 3 in game 1. Melo's still balling out at 36. I can't really say balling out. Still playing in the league. We're down 2-0. I'll see you guys next video.